Hey there, Kingdom 93 never disappoints us with the leaks. I don't even know how they get the information, but hell yeah, there is some good stuff in this video. I was literally going to sleep, it's past 2 a.m. here, so if you appreciate my speedy content, please slap a like on the video, subscribe and activate the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on any future content. Let's go! But first, a quick message from the sponsor of this video. Sponsors really help small channels like mine to grow and provide you better content, so I will really appreciate you if you take a few seconds to take a look at it. Enjoy! Today's video is sponsored by Huawei's App Gallery. As you know, I'm recently playing Infinity Kingdom and I'm actually enjoying very much leveling up my dragons and my mortals to make my water team stronger. If you normally spend some money in the games you enjoy, you know that the prices are different from a country to another one. Well, App Gallery has a solution for you. Just download the App Gallery with my link in the description of this video from your smartphone, even if you don't have a Huawei device and you are an Android user, or even from Bluestacks. Afterwards, download the Huawei mobile services, always using the link in the description below, and set your country to Germany, Austria or Switzerland. If you do that and download Infinity Kingdom through your app gallery, you will notice that wherever you are, you will pay in dollars for your bundles. So no more $5 bundles which cost 5.49 euros or 5 pounds. Easy, no? And App Gallery has also a big promotion going on for the Easter week in Infinity Kingdoms, where you will get a 20% Huawei points back that you will be able to use and get some more free stuff. Also, if you want to play with me in Vita's Kingdom 25, I have some free coupons for you if you install the game through the App Gallery. You will find all the links and the codes in the description down below. Thank you for watching this ad and helping my channel out. Now, back to Rise of Kingdoms. First leak, new cavalry commanders. Xiang Yu, the first cavalry commander, an important soldier, politician and aristocratic of the ancient China. He's a cavalry, conquering and skill commander which we like. Let's go through the skills together real quick. First skill, the active skill, deals direct damage up to 3 targets in a forward-facing fan-shaped area. Damage factor up to 1700. Damage dealt to each target is reduced by 25% for each additional target. Successful hit targets also suffer up to 30% reduced defense for 3 seconds. It looks great. Not the usual 15% reduction for the additional targets, but this is probably a rallying commander, so the primary target will be the garrison and therefore it will take the full damage and the defense debuff. Let's go on. Second skill, cavalry units led by this commander gain up to 40% increased attack and 15% increased march speed. When attacked, there is a 20% chance, which I've never seen before, to gain another 25% march speed for 3 seconds. The effect can trigger once every 5 seconds. Third skill, when attacking strongholds or governor cities, Troops led by this commander gain up to 5% damage increase and normal attacks have a 10% chance to deal additional direct damage up to 400 damage factor, which can trigger at most once every 3 seconds. This one is a medium force skill, I'd say. Looks good, nothing broken. Fourth skill, while on the map, Active skill cost is reduced by up to 50 rage, so we have a Genghis Khan 2.0 here. So it will require you 950 rage for the active skill to be fired off. This is the second commander we see with a rage requirement less than 1000. After using the active skill, commander will gain a stack of cavalry damage up to plus 5% and march speed minus 10% for 10 seconds. Another stack is gained if the troops are being surrounded. This effect can stack up to 6 times, and when I read this, I immediately understand that each added stack will refresh the timer every time, so potentially the commander will gain up to 30% extra cavalry damage. So it will be very important to silence this commander, especially with Guan Yu, even if swarming him will mean to give him an extra extra stack, but I'm sure that Guan Yu and Leonidas will represent the best counter-rally for this commander in KVK. 
expertise skill, troops led by this commander deal an extra 10% skill damage. Crazy. When troops have gained a rage buff for more than one turn, their skill damage will increase by 10% for 3 seconds. So let's see if the other commander gives him a rage buff. This effect can trigger at most once every 5 seconds. Boom, and here we go with William secondary. Well, let's see the synergy with the other cavalry commander and then we will judge. But I think William will be a great second commander, the synergy will be unreal. Joan of Arcs and Trajans will pop up all over the place to support this commander, I'm pretty sure about this. Second commander, Jadwiga, which by the way looks like a 10 years old little girl. What's that? <laughs> by the way. Cavalry, Garrison and Mobility Commander, oh man, we were waiting for this. Garrison, Cavalry, Commander. Active skill deals direct damage to the current target up to 1500 damage and troops led by this commander deal up to 20% increased damage for the next 3 seconds. Great one. Second skill, while on the map, cavalry units gain up to 10% increased defense and 15% march speed. While in garrison of a stronghold or city, cavalry gains up to 20% defense and 20% health. Solid. This looks like an Artemisia kinda commander. Very tanky, I like it. Third skill, skill damage taken is reduced by up to 10%, this is a Saladin-like skill. While commanding the garrison of a stronghold or a city, so here we go with the garrison skill, cavalry units deal extra 1% increased damage to archers, but take 5% increased damage from infantry. I believe there is something missing from this screenshot right here, and this will scale up, maybe to 10% increased damage to archers and 5 or 10% extra damage for, from infantry. I don't know, this does not make sense otherwise. I guess we will see. Fourth skill, troops led by this commander gain up to 20% increased skill damage. When they take skill damage, they gain up to 50 rage per second for 3 seconds. Here you go, I was awaiting for this. This effect can trigger at most once every 8 seconds. Uh, so this is a passive skill, so it will for sure stack up with the Joan of Arc buff. From what I see here, there is a great synergy between Xiang Yu and Jadwiga, so I believe this commander right here will be suitable both for Garrison and Rally, even if I think William might just be a better pair for Xiang Yu. Too soon to judge anyway. Expertise skill, troops led by this commander deal 10% increased damage to rallied troops. When the active skill is used, damage taken is reduced by 10% for 4 seconds. Great. So a lot of effects from those two new cavalry commanders concern the active skill, uh, things that activate with the active skill or after. This looks kinda complex, but those two new commanders will change the meta, 100%, trust me. Alright, let's go straight into the other news. The most awaited skill lock function. This is what it looks like. From what I understand, we don't know yet how we will buy this item for the skill lock, but you will not be able to do like 5115 or 1155, but you should be able to make your commanders like 5155, for example, very useful for your Guan Yu, or 5515, or even 5551, if you need to bring your commander fast to level 60 and you need him as primary. Looking forward to this so much. But things have not finished, that's crazy! New mechanic for the hospital. Severely wounded siege units will enter the siege units zone, which can hold an extra 50,000 severely wounded siege units. Once the zone's capacity has been reached, any additional severely wounded siege units will be sent to the hospital with other unit types. So first, as a priority, they will go in this other zone, dedicated entirely to siege units, and afterwards they will fill the normal hospitals. Interesting. Finally, we will know when we will potentially get the special talent on our equipments. Look at this. When you forge the same piece of equipment, I hope not consecutively, but I think that's not the case, the chance of gaining a special talent bonus will increase each time until you get one, as follows. First forge, 11%. Second forge, 22%. Third forge, 33%. Fourth forge, 44%. Fifth forge, 100%. So a granted special talent. 
I will later on calculate how unlucky you need to be to forge four copies of the same equipment without a special talent, but we will discuss about that. A last leak, but not least, a new kill point system. So our kills will now be evaluated decently, so tier 1 kills will count much less than the others in the total kill score, as you can see on the screenshot, while tier 5 will count much more. This is extremely interesting and useful. I also know that there is an upcoming event about Edelflaed, but I don't really have more information about that, just this picture right here. That's all, I hope you enjoyed the speedy content and I will see you on the next one. Ciao!